I have a couple ideas in mind, but I don't really know what exactly that I want to do with this. Welcome to my channel. Today we are getting into the Carla Bible palette once again, and today I'm going to be doing a day to night look so you guys get a little bit inspired since this is a pretty neutral palette. I want to show you guys how you could wear it all day long, and then if you go out at night, you can dress it up a little bit more with the same palette. So I already did pretty neutral makeup, nothing too crazy. So I just wanted to do the neutral look first and then we're gonna amp it up and do our nighttime sultry look. But if you guys do want swatches and the first review on the palette, as well as a three looks with the palette, I'll have it linked in a playlist down in the description box, as well as in the cards as the video goes through. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is prime my eyes with the Anastasia eyeshadow primer. And I also wanted to say, I got this mini size of the Anastasia primer like months ago when the Riviera came out and that eyeshadow primer is still going strong. So in my last video, I was sharing with you guys how the half of the palette is pretty neutral and the other half of the palette has a little bit more of a pop to it. And I did do a look with these shades to show you how to do like a warm toned everyday look. But today I want to stick with a little bit more of the cooler tone side with this. So let's get on into this with zooming you guys in. And then I also had a request to go into a little bit more detail of what brushes I'm using. And so I'm going to try and do that today. We'll see how that goes. So the first brush that I'm going to be taking is pretty fluffy. And I'm going to be taking the shade Bible, which is probably one of my favorite shades just because I just keep using it in every video. So I'm gonna be using the brush a little bit at like an angle like this. And where you place your brush is where the most deposit is going to be. So I'm placing it in my crease and then I lower where my hand is because the closer your hand is to the brush, the more pigmented it's going to be and the farther away it gives it a little bit more of like that airbrush look to it. And then I'm being really gentle when I'm blending the eyeshadow. I'm not really going crazy, just ever so slightly building it up and buffing it out. And if you guys are learning how to do eyeshadow, I would definitely suggest doing something like this and really practicing it every single day. So even if it's something as simple as learning out how learning how to blend out your crease, literally make it a thing to do it every single day and practice it and make time for it because practice only makes it get better. And then now I'm going to go and place the brush on my outer corner. I like to do this with a blending brush because a lot of the times I don't like it to be super packed on and pigmented. I just kind of want it to be very subtle. And you can honestly do an eye look with just one eyeshadow brush. And then I am going to be taking a bit of a smaller brush. So this was the brush I was using and this is the brush that I'm going to be changing to. And I'm going to take the same Bible shade and I'm going to be running it underneath my lower lash line. I personally like color underneath my lower lash line. I feel like it kind of gives a little bit more definition and it ties in what's going on on your lid. And then now I'm just going to take the shade Bare, which is right there. And I'm going to take a flat shading brush and I'm tapping off the excess. And I'm just going to go and place the brush closer to the lash line where you want the most pigment. And then... Once you got the pigment laid down, I just lightly pat over the edges with whatever's left to help blend. And again, this is just my way. There's no wrong or right way to do anything. This is just the way that I do my eyeshadow most of the time. And then I still don't know how to say the shade, but the pink shimmer shade right there. 
I'm gonna take it with a smaller shader brush and I'm not gonna wet it this time. If you guys watch my three looks with this palette, it is a little bit more subtle when you don't wet it. So I'm gonna avoid to wet it, but I'm just placing it first in my inner corner where I want that most of the pigment and then just blending it under my inner corner and up onto the lid a little bit and you could honestly do this look with any of the matte eyeshadows that are in this palette just blend it into the crease put bare on your lid and then highlight with any of the shades like if you wanted to be more colorful you could honestly put the shimmer purple in your inner corner you could put a little bit more bling you could wet this there's a lot of different options you can do and then i'm going to take a pretty tiny little brush and I'm gonna take the deepest matte shade and I'm just gonna get the pigment on the very tip of the brush and just go right along my lash line as an eyeliner. I don't want it to be too pigmented or dark. I just want to add a little volume to my lashes and then when you do it eyeliner like this with eyeshadow it's a lot easier to blend it out a lot more forgiving and then I'm also going to take a little bit and put it in the outer corner really close to my lash line and then I'm going to put on some mascara and we should be just about done all right so I just put a little mascara on and give my eyes a little va va boom and then I'm just going to put the Fenty Beauty the original glossy balm in the Fenty Glow on all right and I'll be back later on for the nighttime look. But honestly, this is definitely something that I would wear for a very neutral everyday look. Because that's not a lot, but I still like a little bit of color. Especially purple brings out a lot with green eyes. So I do have green eyes. So I do like this cool toned purple a lot on my complexion and with my eye color. So that's why I chose this one. And then... Glossy Balm matches my natural lip color. A little bit of definition on the cheeks. I'm good to go. But I'll be back in just a second for the nighttime look. All right, so I just got done with a few errands and I'm ready to take this day look to a night look. I have kind of thought about what I wanted to do. If I wanted to stick with the same kind of color scheme or if I wanted to just totally go super dramatic. So I have a couple ideas in mind, but I don't really know what exactly that I want to do with this. But let's just start going in on it. So first off, what we have in our crease right now is pretty light. So I'm going to take Bible, that same color, and I'm going to take the smaller blending brush. And I'm first going to work on building this color up and making it a bit darker. And I chose this brush because it's a little bit stiffer. So because this is already blended out, I just want to focus the pigment on the lid and in the crease. So here's the eye that I just amped up and the other eye. Definitely a bit of a difference. So I just wiped my brush off and I think I'm going to take the red shade or the kind of burgundy red shade and I'm gonna use this on my outer corner and I'm just gonna lightly blend it over the lid at first and then I'm gonna go back in and build it up I just kind of want to see what this is gonna look like okay I do like the purple and red so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the red with the dark brown just on an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pack that into the outer corner and then I'm going to take the last brush that I had and just go over the edges of that mixture and then I'm gonna take just Steve by itself and I think I'm gonna cover the entire lid with this shade and I'm going in a little bit at a time because I don't want too much fallout on my lashes since I do have mascara on and then I'm just gonna wipe the brush off and I'm gonna go into this gorgeous duochrome purple shade and I'm gonna use it wet. So I'm gonna pick it up on the brush, wet it a little bit and I'm gonna put it right on this inner 
corner here, kind of fading it in. I'm also gonna put it on my very inner corner. And since we already have that lighter shimmer in the inner corner, it'll look a little bit lighter. All right, so now that I got that on my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with Steve and that dark brown shade and mix those again and put it underneath my lash line. Cause as you can tell, the darker it's getting on the top of my lid, the lighter it's getting on my lower lash line. So we're just gonna fix that up, give it that more reddish color. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take OA, the really pretty glittery one, and I'm just gonna put it on the tip of an eyeshadow brush and wet it. And I'm gonna put it right underneath my lower lash line right here and hopefully add a little bit more sparkle. Ooh, that looks pretty. I love OA and all its glitter in it. It looks so pretty. And then I'm gonna go off camera and do a wing eyeliner. Hopefully we'll see how it goes. All right, so I did something a little funky. So I went in and did just the tail part with the Stila waterproof eyeliner and then I use the magnetic eyeliner on my lash line so while that's drying I do want to add a little bit more of a pizzazz on the outer corner of my eyes so I'm going to take this super tiny little brush and dip into that same OA shade and I'm going to wet it pretty good and then I just want to take it right underneath the wing kind of flicking it up a little bit higher all right I like how that looks and then I'm gonna wait for the magnetic eyeliner to dry a little bit more to where it's not as shiny and then I'm gonna take the moxie lash eyelashes in the style sassy and I'll show you guys how these magnetize in my eyes because I haven't used these in a while, but I absolutely love them and they look super cool. All right, let's put these eyelashes on. And I do have a full video on these if you're really curious about them, but they have these little magnet pieces on there and they're so easy to put on. You literally just whomp, like it just sticks on to your eye it's insane all right and then i also topped this look off with the fenty beauty stana lip paint in the shade undefeated but this is my night look glittery pops the color some lashes i don't really do lashes dark bambi lip i am totally down for this but i hope with this video you guys got a couple more ideas to do with your new Carly Bible palette, or if you're thinking about getting it, helps you out on making that decision. But that is it for this video. If you wanna watch my three looks with the Carly Bible palette, it'll be right over here. And then this video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here where you click on it and subscribe to my channel.